Nice one back again with another little video just to give you some tips. Um, you saw before my um, new little purchase, uh, my Dewa Legalis, if I said that right, 1500 reel uh, Sonic Light Tech Spin 1 to 8 gram rod. Um, and that's my little setup for things like trout and, and chub. Um, you can go smaller than that if you want to, but that'll, that'll do me, it'll give me a chance to throw in most things. I can throw yogas across most most rivers that are going to be uh, producing chub and trout and things. Um, and that, that'll do me. Um, like set up, uh, I don't I don't really take, take much gear with me. Probably more than more than some people line, but I don't take much gear with me. I don't take a landing net. Um, it, it tends to just be too much to carry. I've got my camera gear, which makes it hard enough as it is. So uh, traveling light, uh, little gunky bag. You've seen that before. We just want something similar like that. A um, couple of compartments, uh, and all I've got. Dare I say it? A bit of fluorocarbon to make some uh, some leaders up. Um, my swivels and things, I can make fluorocarbon leads if I need to. But I usually I've got a few made up. Um, a pair of forceps. I have not, I've not bothered with my scales. A uh, bit gutting sometimes because you end up catching a chub and you're thinking, oh, that's a beast of a fish, I don't know how big it is. But um, I travel as light as possible. When it's for lows, let's try and get these on film for you. Small box. So, small selection. I've got. I've got a couple of shads, little um, little two-inch copy toes. Let me get box down so I can see it. A little couple of two-inch copy toes, but typically I don't use those. They're there as an option. Um, I'm not a I'm not a lover of soft lures. When I get when I go ultra light, I just love using little cranks, and you'll see that's reflected in most of the lures I've got. Um, I've got a few spinners. You can't beat a few spinners, um, but they're often as a, a last re resort, just because it's a cast it out and wind it straight in low. I tend to like to use plugs. Um, you've seen it a million times. Trout fishing, chub fishing, I love to use yogas. Eddie introduced me to yogas ages ago and something we always use. Little jointed, little jointed custom made low, they're just awesome. Got a great wiggle on them and, and that's pretty, pretty much what you want. I mean that's five centimetre. You can go smaller than that if you want but five centimetres is fine. And just a selection of also similar stuff um, what we got little salmo hornet great low slightly bigger lip good for getting a little bit deeper don't go massively deep but it just stays down sometimes if you've got a little bit of wind um, not if you've got wind yourself but actually if there's a bit of wind in the air uh, it, it, having a bigger lip helps you keep your low down because your, your light tackle uh, your braid gets blown about that's an even tiny that's a that's a called a bitsy minnow Got a little rattle inside it. It's a great little load, but I've got loads of trout. It's on one of my trout videos. Um, what else have we got? I think that's called a storm subwart. It's like a little mini wake bait type thing. Great for chub. What's this one? Oh, my little fox rage funk bug or something it's called. If I remember right. Another one with a little, little rattle in it. Simple loads like that. That's all you need. What else have I got? Uh, yogi, yogis, yogis. Selection of all sorts. I mean, they're just awesome. I've not even used these yet, these yet but they're, they're a new one. I'll, I'll introduce you to these if I, if, I, if, I work, if I find out they're any good. But they look awesome. They're really well made. Little, not only plastic those, but they're well made. Got a rattle inside them. Um, and just things like that. Little repiler. Little, I forget what they call them. World's worst at things like this. Little, little wrap or something. Little clacking wrap or something. And that's all you need. You don't need many. I've probably got... I've probably got I've probably got 20 loads more than I need. I'll probably only use a couple. That's a similar to a yogi, but slightly larger. Yeah, and that, that's it. Here we go. Little uh, little minnows and things. It gives you options, but I just love I love using cranks. Uh, and like these on on a real light setup, um, you can do away with heavy clips, heavy heavy um, swivels and things. And such as that, it's a, it's a nice floating it's floating suspending low. Uh, if you go really light with your, with your gear, that'll float. And, uh, so you can use it in your swim, and that's what I tend to do a lot of time, and just use it to, to go under bushes and things that you wouldn't be able to get with a with a shad unless you were some kind of awesome caster. So that's it. That's all you need. You're away. Um, a drink, and off you go. It's, it's ultra light, and it's not just with, with your lures. It's ultra light with your gear. Um, 
camera's good, a uh, few tools and away you go and that's all, that's all you need. Typically you, you'll end up fishing places with this, with this setup where you're not, you're not going to be getting targeted by pike. So you can get away with a fluorocarbon leader um, and you can get away with not having, having too much gear. Um, what we'll do, I've explained it before with, with trout videos, but what, what you get with a, a fluorocarbon leader some people, some people have a fluorocarbon leader because they don't want the wire, they don't want the shub to see the wire. But I've caught, I've caught chub on um, 80 pound titanium, uh, yeah, 80, no, 100 pound titanium tracers, the ones Chico's make. Um, I've caught chub on those, so they're not too fussed about it, especially when they're in the mood. But you don't want to spook them, so that, that is a benefit, is having a fluorocarbon leader. But what the bigger benefit is, that wire, wire gets, gets wrapped around trees and it cuts, cuts into a tree, and then when you pull it snaps, fluorocarbons, Especially if you get a little bit thicker stuff, I mean, it's only seven pounds, but if you get some thicker fluorocarbon, say let's say 15 pounds, it's quite chunky stuff in comparison to your braid. And if it wraps around, or comparison to your wire as well, if it wraps around a tree branch, you can often, I try not to flick it in my finger, but you can flick it off like that, and that's that's the benefit. So rather than, rather than getting to, getting caught in, I'm going to get an hook in my finger here, aren't I? When you do that with a wire trace, it's going to dig in like that, that's cutting into my finger, it'll cut into it, but you can. With a, with a floor cabin you can often flick it off and uh, and that's the benefit of it. Because it's quite supple. If you find it's still coiled once you've once you've got it off, just run it through your fingers. The friction in your fingers will generate a bit of heat and it'll uh, it'll straighten your your floor cabin leader out. Clips. I've run out of clips. I don't typically I can't think you can see those ones. I don't typically use these little egg snap things, whatever they're called, but um, because pike, I don't like them on pike, but for, for here, chub are perfect. But you want to go as small as possible with your, with your clip. So that's what I'll be looking for next, some more some more clips and get some smaller. You only want tiny ones. You could even, if you wanted to, you could tie it on. You could tie it straight to your uh, fluorocarbon to there, but I just find it a bit fiddly, so I'll put a clip on. So if you want to change those, it's a bit easier. But get go as, as small as you can, because you can uh, then you'll have less, less effect on the lure, and the lure will do what you want it to do. Similarly, swivel. I do. I tie fluorocarbon to a swivel, uh, just because I'm lazy and I'm rubbish at tying braid to uh, fluorocarbon knots. But there's loads of people out there. I'll show you how I do it. I have done it myself before. I just forget. I just can't be bothered. Uh, but if you do away with that, it saves you uh, swivel being heavy in the water and weighing it down. And what you can do with it as well, because you've got no um, no swivel on, you can actually keep your line above water and you can work your lure just under the surface. And um, Chub especially then they're not going to be spooked because they're not going to see no line, they're not going to see no V on top of water, which is going to see a low. Um, but what you'll find with chub most of the time, uh, as long as you've not, uh, even as long as you've not made a big noise when you've got to the bank and you just creep up and you're casting you know, to the far side under a bush, typically you'll find them sat on the back of a bush uh, or back of a bit of fast water, things like that, and they're just waiting for food to come down. So they'll be the, the plop of that. And they just come up straight away and like I say you give it a few twitches and typically they've took it straight away so they've not really had a chance to look at your swivels, your, your line and all this kind of stuff. So um, and it's great fun, honestly. If, if you think if you think perch fishing's fun, um, you probably won't do the numbers if you do chub when you go chub fishing, because usually when you've when you've caught one in a swim, um, you'll you might often spook them. So you can maybe leave it an hour or two and come back if you if you've got enough water to, to fish. But um if you if you go if you go fishing and you catch one or two chub, you know especially decent size, you've had a good you've had a good session. You're not you're not going to bag up with 50, 50 fish like you might do with perch if you if you find a good spot. Um, I know the match lads might sometimes if they get on certain rivers they might might bag up with chub, but low fishing you don't tend to bag up with loads and loads of chub. What you need to find is a good stretch, um, a lot of features, a bit of flowing water, plenty of bushes and things for them to get in and whatever, and. Uh, and, and have a good, you know, travel light and cover a cover a cover a mile or two of water, fishing all the features, and um, like I say, look for those one or two chub, and, that, and that's your good bit of sport. Uh, just then the enjoy the day. If you like, I say, if you didn't if you didn't just to catch fish and catch numbers, go to a carp puddle. Uh, that's because that's what a respectable bed is aimed for, full of fish, and, uh, and you catch numbers. But when you're out on wild rivers. You have a low, low tackle, a bit of fun, and that's what it's about. Just, just get out there and enjoy it. Minimal, minimal gear, and away you go.
что? Beautiful fish. Proper effort for me. Proper reward for me, hard effort, I should say. Yogis. It's been climbing trees and all sorts. Yeah. Shaking like a leaf. An absolute peach of a fish. Look at that. Beautiful.